What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. On today's video, we're gonna talk about a topic that we've talked about a few times in the past, but as I develop as a bowler, as I gain more knowledge, more information, I'd like to share that with you guys. We're gonna talk about the differences between a bowling ball drilled pin up and a bowling ball drilled pin down, and moreover, when you should be going to each of these, pin up versus pin down. So if you like these kind of videos, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell. If you like the jersey in this video or in any of my videos, coolwig.com, promo code NAPOLIS10. If you want to get uh, these happen to be eternity pies that I have uh, for this video, one up, one down, or anything bowling related, coolwig.com. These nifty little ball spinners here in the, on the bottom are by a company called DH Lab that I have partnered with. There's going to be a, an affiliate link down below. I do get a 10% commission on every sale, so d supporting them directly supports me. So let's talk a little bit about these layouts. So there, um, if I use the dual angle system. So just so you guys know, these layouts are the same, except for one of them is pin up, one of them is pin down. The pin up one is 30 by four and a half by 30. The pin down one is 30 by four and a half by 70. That 70 is what made it go from pin up to pin down. So let's talk about the science behind what happens to the core numbers of a bowling ball when you drill them pin up versus when you drill them pin down. And we're gonna do in layman's terms, very simple because there's no need to overcomplicate um, a ultimately simple idea. When you drill a bowling ball pin up, okay, the differential, which the differential means it's hook potential. So the differential is going to go up. Okay, so the hook potential is going to increase and it's RG, the RG stands for radius of gyration the RG is going to go down. The lower the RG, the earlier the ball is going to want to pick up. The higher the RG, the, the, you know, the longer in layman's, so the longer the bowling ball is going to want to go. And so because it is a lower VAL angle, which is that last number, the 30, it's going to want to change directions pretty quickly. So the ball in general is going to be earlier, it's going to be stronger, and it's going to shape a little bit more down lane. Then when we turn it over to the pin down, it's going to be just the opposite. The differential or its maximum hook potential is going to decrease. Its RG is going to increase. So it's going to want to be a little bit, it's gonna hook a little bit less. It's going to go a little bit further down lane. And then that VAL angle be, uh, being 70, it's going to increase that number. The higher that number, the rounder that ball is going to want to be. So in general, the pin down bowling ball is going to be longer, it's going to hook less, and it's going to be smoother. Now, I, I want to be very careful with how I talk about layouts because I did spend some time working in a pro shop and I spend countless hours messaging people back to send me message questions about what layout, what layout, what layout, what layout, what layout, what layout. And ultimately, uh, this is gonna sound very silly, um, but it's very common sense. The core does not touch the lane, obviously. The cover does. So the surface of the bowling ball is going to be the biggest, biggest, biggest deciding factor. You can take a layout that's meant to go super long, super quick down lane and hit it with a 500 pad and it's going to be earlier and smoother than a ball that's drilled to be early and smooth that doesn't have a whole lot of surface on it. So be very careful when always asking about layout when sometimes you should be asking surface. And I know this is a super long introduction but I really need you guys to understand that. Surface is going to end up being the largest deciding factor when it comes to ball motion. The layout is just going to fine tune that. So you have to use both of them in unison. So all of that out of the way. When can you use each of these bowling balls? Well, it's bowling, so you can use them at any time you want, right? I've had success throwing pin up bowling balls like this on the fresh. I've had success throwing these pin down ones on the fresh and vice versa. But for me and my game, I would prefer to throw the pin down ball on the fresh. Why? It's longer, it hooks less, and it's smoother. On house shots, there's already a ton of friction to the right, like there is here at Samstown. So because of that, 
I like a bowling ball that's gonna hook a little bit less, be a little bit smoother down lane. And that's why for me, I, if I have one in the bag, I prefer the pin down one on the fresh than the pin down one, or the pin up one rather, even though that RG is gonna go down and that differential is gonna go up and it's gonna wanna be quicker down lane, I have typically liked throwing these kind of layouts with these kind of bigger bowling balls in game three in league. If you guys have been watching my league live streams, which is every Tuesday night at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, I've been throwing a magic gem with a lot of surface game three in league because it hooks instantly and then it kind of just bails down lane because of all the friction. As you develop all this carry down with the bowling balls going down the lane, you kind of want something that's gonna be a little bit earlier and it's gonna hook before all that carry down. So for me, pin down on the fresh, pin up in transition in general. We'll see you here on the lanes. All right, we're gonna start in the pin down one. Again, longer, smoother, less hook overall when compared to that pin up one. So let's start this one, establish a baseline. So that was literally the first shot on this lane. I'm gonna have to move right off that for sure. So I'm gonna move like four right off that shot because it was not even close. But like I said, it was literally the first shot on this lane. So I'll move everything like four and two right, nice and straight up the lane here. See, this freaking lane, man. All right, so you guys saw what happened there on lane two. Needless to say, I'm not gonna throw any more shots on lane two. I've had issues on that lane last couple months. So we're gonna sell lane one, which we know is super nice. So we're gonna go to the spot where I 2 a tend on lane two. Uh, lane one is a little bit more transitioned because I did film a video before this. So they're gonna be a little bit more transitioned, but it should be fine. Not, I'm bowling by myself, not a whole lot of shots went down the lane. So we're gonna turn it around now and get on lane one. All right, so here's the not sticking and almost dying. So we're gonna go to the spot that we 2 a tend on lane two just to see. It should hook here since there's more shots thrown on lane one. Yeah, so lane one hooks way more. That looked pretty good. Uh, it was a little slow, a little hesitant because obviously what just happened, I thought I was gonna, I literally thought I was gonna die. I was talking to my, my friend Tim here how many times can I do that before I fall? And I hope it's uh, never gets stuck again like that. So we're gonna move, stay in the same spot, just get a little bit more aggressive after it. All right, so same spot, same spot, just a little bit more, a little more aggressive, a little bit more firmer now that we know we're not gonna stick. And we'll go to the pinup one. You can see the ball still hooks a lot. It's still an eternity pie but it's a little bit cleaner than normal for asymmetric solids, very smooth down lane. Now we go to the same spot, but in the pin up one. All right, so I'm gonna do my best here to throw the exact same shot with the pin up Eternity Pie. You're gonna notice that the ball's gonna wanna get into a roll a little bit more, and it should, it should, if I throw it the same, should hook a little bit more. It might still strike, but it definitely should go a little bit higher in the pocket. Threw that bad, missed in. Wicked messenger. All right, so let's uh, throw a better shot. That was uh, not, a, not a very good pitch. We, the flare lines on the ball are way different. There we go. So that I threw that one much better, much closer to where that pin down was. And you can see it hooked way earlier and way more. So off that, I'm gonna move like maybe four left, just really create a little bit more shape, let that higher differential really take effect here. So we're making that move like four and two-ish. Really show you guys how the pinup one just hooks that much more. Yeah, way further left, creating much more traction in the oil. Now we're gonna get back to the pin down one and just stay a little bit straighter because it is gonna allow me to play a little bit straighter and ultimately, that's what I wanna be doing anyway, is playing straighter. All right, so now we're gonna make that move back to the right with the pin down one. 
And like I told you guys, I prefer this on the fresh because it's gonna allow me to play a little bit straighter, which is my A game, as you guys know. I'm trying to hit like 9, 10, 11 ish down lane. Like right there is exactly the part of the lane that I'm. Wow, did you see where that exited the pin deck? That was pretty disgusting. But that's the motion I like on the fresh. Clean, very smooth. It's not gonna over jump. It's not gonna hook at my feet. It's, it's gonna do all the right things on the fresh. And when I start to kind of look like I'm gonna flat 10 territory, that's when I'm gonna jump out of the pin down one and get into the pin up one. Now after the shot, I'm gonna give you guys a, uh, a word of advice, a warning, if you will. Uh, we're gonna stay in the pin down one, repeat another shot here. There we go. So here's my advice, here's my warning. As you guys know, as of a couple years ago now, we can no longer use weight holes. So when you're drilling something pinned down, you have to make sure that there's enough differential in the bowling ball pre-drilled. So for me, I typically stay with those higher asymmetrical bowling balls with high differentials to start. Because if you take a ball that already has a low diff, drill it pin down and bring that number even lower, it can get pretty ugly. So I'm just letting you know right now, don't take like a hustle, drill it pin down and think you're gonna get ball motion like this. Stronger balls, pin down. Just my advice. All right, that looks too good not to throw at least one more shot. So we'll throw one more with the pin down one and we'll get back into the pin up one. Let's go to the pin up one now. All right, so we're gonna move back in and get into the pin down one. And again, I mean, the, the different, these are the same bowling ball with very similar layouts, just that last VAL number being different. And they are two completely different ball rolls. Might as well be two completely different bowling balls. And they have the same surface, by the way. Yeah, stuck a little bit. We're having uh, footing issues today uh, across the center. Uh, but you can see, like, the ball is just that much stronger with that pin-up drilling. So drilling the bowling ball, you have to know what your positive access point is. If your pro shop doesn't know what your positive access point is, I'm telling you right now, they're guessing. There's no such thing as, oh, I know his game, I know their game, it's all BS. If they don't know your positive access point, you can't lay out the bowling ball accurately. And also, huge shout out to Jordan Katz, he's my teammate on Tuesday nights, for giving me this insight about these stronger pin-up balls in game three in league. It's been amazing because of him, so thanks, Jordan. I'll throw one more here with the pin up one, one more with the down one, and we'll finish this video up. Let me know in the comments, which one do you think looks better, that pin up one or the pin down one? All right, last shot of the video here, we're gonna end it in the pin down eternity pie. There we go, trip to four to end the video. Yeah, so for me, if I wanna play a little bit straighter on the fresh, the pin down uh, layout is what I'm gonna go with. Uh, if I need to get left, really create some shape, play that oil in the middle part of the lane, whether it's on the fresh or on the burn, I'm really gonna look at that pin up layout. I hope that this video, you, know, you guys find it informative and it helps you out in your game. Till next time.